Our next guest is an actress, dancer, comedian. She appeared as one of the brides in the film Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. She, she was a regular on a number of game shows, including the Hollywood Squares, What's My Line, and as Alex Trebek's co-host on High Rollers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the beautiful star number 40 on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars, Ruta Lee. Thank you very much. All those credits take too long. All I can do is say, Lindsay, welcome to the Walk of Stars, and I'm so glad you're getting laid in my neighborhood. Laid <laughs> in cement, that is. Because my house is just up the way here on the hill, and my star is just down the block from yours. And um, I'm in front of the Blue Coyote, you know, that wonderful Cal Mex restaurant. You know, Jack Kennedy, President Kennedy, got an eternal flame. I get an eternal margarita. <laughs> it's not, not all bad. Um, I'm between Liz Taylor and Leslie Nielsen. Which is lovely, except they're both dead. <laughs> so I'm so glad to have a hot chick right up the block from me. I think that is really sensational. So welcome. Sweetheart, you have dazzled us on the big screen and the little screen with your beauty, with clearly your ability and your talent. But your beauty is more than just that gorgeous face and skinny body, bitch. <laughs> It's, it's also inside. Lindsay has a soul and a spirit that she shares very generously with everybody. Now, um, we have talked about this being Ladies' Day, to have these two super fabulous ladies here. Uh, I, I've got to tell you, honey, you as the bionic woman, I think inspired and empowered several generations of beautiful young ladies, just like the one that spoke earlier today. And uh, us, us older people, you inspired with the idea that we should get a good night's rest. <laughs> now, considering that it's Ladies' Day, I'm going to repeat something that I did for our very good friend, uh, Gloria Greer, speaking of glass ceilings at the Glass Ceilings Award when she received her award. And I was asked to repeat this because it has to do with women. And some of us are aging, are we not? Just a wee bit, but now let's go back to the beginning. God, those poor Marines in those uniforms, you look so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, are they marvelous, ladies and gentlemen. They're not allowed to sweat, you know. Now listen to this, this is very true, I think you'll agree with me. Between 18 and 22, a woman is like Africa. Half discovered, half wild, fertile, and naturally beautiful. Between 23 and 30, a woman is like Europe, well developed and open to trade. <laughs> Especially for someone with cash. Between 31 and 35, a woman is like India, very hot, relaxed, convinced of her own beauty. Between 36 and 40, a woman is like France, gently aging, but still a warm and desirable place to visit. <laughs> Between 41 and 50, a woman is like Great Britain, with a glorious and all-conquering past. Between 51 and 60, a woman is like Israel, has been through the war, doesn't make the same mistake twice, takes care of business. Between 61 and 70, a woman is like Canada, self-preserving but open to meeting new people. After 70, she becomes Tibet. Wildly beautiful, with a mysterious past and the wisdom of the ages. Only those with an adventurous spirit 
and a great thirst for spiritual knowledge care to visit there. <laughs> and then there's man. <laughs> Between one and ninety, man is like Iran, ruled by a prick. <laughs> Thank you, and may this lady never reach Tibet. <laughs>